So it's one of my favorite places to, to visit. It has become that. Little Mount Lavender Company, it smells so amazing in here, and that's something that never really translates to television. Let me introduce you to people you already know, Jason Walker Woodleaf and Jason Walker Woodleaf, husbands, the mastermind behind this place. Welcome to the show again. Thank you. How are you? Uh, great, especially now that you can smell all this. Exactly. Oh, you can smell now. Yeah. Yay. Last time we were here, I had a science infection I couldn't smell. Uh, but I, I really just got to talk about your experience. You guys have been open on the retail side for about three years now and working together, living together, that's not always easy to do. Uh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> really, no further comment on that. No, that's true. But we try to get it under control so that we do have a common goal that's this retail and our farm being as successful as possible. And it has been successful. Obviously, you guys are growing. But, you know, over the past three years that, that you've been open, what is it that you find yourself being most proud of? I think it part of it is the fact that we have been able to work together for going on five years from the beginning with the farm and such and have taken our role. Um, and we both have strengths and we realize that sometimes I may need a little bit of extra understanding when I get stressed out. But we know that and we go to each other with that and get it squared away and then we move forward and just rely on each other for stuff. And it helps a lot to know that you need each other and to be able to, to bounce off of that and progress and those goals. On the community side, Kentucky proud. You guys are in the heart of Shelbyville. The community has embraced you. You guys have embraced and served the community. That's gotta make you feel great. Uh, yeah, because it was important to us being a local farm and local farm product to make sure that we are attached to Kentucky Proud, Rooted, and Shelby, which are both agricultural entities. And our customers are extremely proud to be a shopper of a Kentucky Proud store. So we make sure that we do everything possible to have local artisans with here, with us here, uh, photographers, you name it, if they're local, they can be in our store. We do our best to stay Kentucky Proud. And you talk about the growth of the business and being proud of just the longevity of it and, and how it's growing. There's a U-Haul outside right now. You guys are actually growing. Talk us through all the things that you have coming up and what you've got going on behind the scenes here. Uh, the thing that's expanding is we are adding to our bakery one more time. This is what we call 4.0. This is our fourth <laughs> move. Three of them in this building from 300 square foot to 4,800 square foot. But this one is going to be at what is the Old Stone Inn in Simpsonville. So not only all of our products will be in that store as a retail shop, but we're extending our bakery to sit down, charcuterie, wines, paired everything. So you can come in, shop, have a little nibble, shop, and have a good afternoon. As we talk about pride, you know, celebrating it, not just in June, but year round, we celebrate inclusivity and just the fact that there's room for everybody. Shelbyville, you've got Shelbyville on lock and Shelby County on lock when it comes to a customer base. But in the effort of inclusion, talk to people who live outside of Shelby County and why they should make the trip in to visit you guys. Well, yeah, we actually, from being on this show and uh, the stuff that we've done with uh, WHAS, we've actually got a lot of people from Indiana. Um, we do go to the um, Louisville, Lexington area. We're a destination spot. Um, they hear about us, they hear, they, they see us, our story, you know, being, seeing the farmers, seeing the shop owners and, and the folks, and we make those connections and a lot of people come in with those connections and, and we, we, we have already grown outside of Shelby, but I think it's just a story. I love the fact that you guys are proud of what you guys have created and accomplished and the longevity and the growth. We are proud to have you all as part of the community and proud to have you on Great Day Live today.